Aquarius, welcome to your I'm so into you reading for today. All right, so if you would like a personal reading, please click the link up there. It'll take you straight to my website where you can see a whole bunch of readings that I offer. If you would like to show me some support and let me know that my content is worth my while to make for you, please click subscribe down below the video and the notification bell. That way you don't miss out on any of my readings. I think you can do the settings to so you get um, your specific star sign too. I'm not sure. And um, uh, the questions that we're going to target today is the energy between you and your person. What is it? Do they even know that you're crushing on them? Do they feel the same? And what would you do about your connection? All right, this is for Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. I feel that somebody has been thrown in the deep end. Has somebody recently let on that they're interested and it's like, oh my God, that kind of energy. Let me know, am I, am I right? All right, this is for Aquarius. Let me know. All right, what is the energy between you? If someone's stalking, is this an online thing? Or is this also just someone's watching someone from the background? Ooh, let's see. All right, do they even know that you're into them? I think an offer has been made. I had that feeling. There's two pages here. So there's messengers, there's, there's messengers, uh, so there's messages going between yous, um, a little bit of online FBI behavior, and then somebody actually said, hey, ooh, let me know. Do they feel the same? Oh, um, Sagittarius had the same card about do they feel the same? That's very interesting. Uh, is your person a Taurus Virgo Capricorn? Your person is focused mostly on their home, their you know inhabitants, whether it's children, animals, whatever, just focusing on their house, their home, um, also their career and their finances right now and self-care. Okay, so your person is really focused on those aspects in life right now. Okay, so um, what should you, I'm going to clarify and then we'll see what how the story comes together. Right now it's like we're building the skeleton of the reading and then we're going to get to the, the nitty gritty of it all. What should you do um, in regards to this connection? <laughs> the devil, oh my god, this is passion. All right, this is kind of like a love reading. So this is like someone is obsessed. Someone is full. When I get the clarifier out, we'll find out. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. All right, let's do this for Aquarius. You're going to have to let me know. Oh my God, I feel overwhelmed like... I feel like I've got the biggest crush on someone. It's like, I, oh, damn, no. <laughs> no, is this the, this is, is this why the devil is there? There's more than one. Somebody is like a bit of a polygamist. I hope not. <laughs> oh, no. Let me know. Am I <laughs> just, I hope I'm totally wrong. I really don't want to be right about that one. Okay, so let's clarify for Aquarius and see what comes out. Page of Swords, why? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They've both got swords. Somebody is stalking but also being very protective. They don't want their person getting hurt, so it's like I'm watching. I also feel that it's watching from the background. Uh, like I see I see them over there and I don't want them you know I don't want anyone getting too close I don't want anyone so it's like a protective energy like whether it's a guy or a lady it's like the ladies like yeah that I don't want anyone really 
bugging my guy that I've got the hots for, you know, uh, even though it's probably not even your place to say, but it's like, I, you know, like if anyone gives them a hard time, I have to step in, that kind of thing, and vice versa for the guys and the ladies, whether it's a guy that's the Aquarius or cross watcher, I don't know. So it's like protective energy, like I don't want anyone mingling with my person in the background wow whether it's you or your person or both you both might be like kind of watching each other from the background going yeah that's that's the person i've got the hots for and i don't want anyone mucking around with them all right so page of cups okay healing and balancing so it's like letting each other know that you're interested but not too much it's like yeah i like you but not too much <laughs> even though i really do even though i really do it's like just you know maybe staying friendly a little bit too friendly but not too much sort of balancing it out like i like you a little bit you know balancing it out because don't want that rejection feeling so it's like you don't want to cross that line but you do <laughs> and I know the feeling so don't worry <laughs> do they feel the same so I feel that uh, the home and hearth and finances are causing a bit of a problem a distraction is it at work <laughs> and it's really hard at work and that's going to cause a problem Let's get another card for you and find out more. Why is this storm morning here with the Queen of Pentacles? <gasps> ah, gossip. Is that it? Damn. People getting together and talking about you guys. Saying Aquarius and that person are a little bit too cute. What's going on? Maybe. And maybe that's why the storm morning is here because... They're holding on to their their role at work and they don't want anyone knowing. So it's like, oh, you know, I can't get on. That's why it's just a little bit. It's like, I like you, but I can't let on. <laughs> because if I do, I might lose my job. <laughs> and, you know, I've got to hold on to that. And I think that is why the storm warning is there. Because they can't let that go. They're really holding on to their pentacles. I think that's it. And you're watching each other and protecting each other from the background. And you can't let on. You've got to balance out that affection and loving feelings and vibes. And that's why the storm warning is here. Like you cannot cross that border and compromise your finances. Again, we got someone watching from the background. Ooh. Two people. See? They're watching you. Oh my God. But they can be females or males. It's an energy letting me know as a clairvoyant that they're watching you you know they've got eyes on you and three eyes on you watching there's people watching your relationship that's why they're like look this is probably your person or this one and then there's people going yeah i'm working but i'm watching i'm working but i'm watching i'm working but i can see you i can see what you're doing you're so cute together maybe a little too cute the devil energy why oh no i'll find out why attached damn 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 <laughs> Oh no, Aquarius, stop this silly billy stuff. All right, the devil and attachment. Why? <laughs> Why? Oh, okay, so I don't think it's attachment to a person. I think it's attachment to, to the finances. All right, so probably there's an unspoken thing like while I'm in this office or warehouse or workplace, I can't be in a relationship with anyone here and so <laughs> accidentally oh whoops I like this person what am I gonna do I can't break that contract so you're attached to that contract and the devil energy is there saying 
maybe I can break that contract in secret. My cheeky kitten, she climbs my beautiful um, display cabinet and I've got gemstones and she, she climbs it. One, two, three. And then she just starts going to the one above and just blindly picking all the gemstones off. Cheeky baby. What are you doing, Dana? And there she goes. She's sliding them on the floor now. <laughs> She's so cute. So naughty. So funny. Here we go. A little fisher. That's it. They're looking for evidence. They're like, what's Aquarius up to with that person? They're looking for, or are you looking for a way to get past this attachment situation to be to express the devil energy with the, that passion with your crush. It's like as soon as we're out of here, you're in trouble kind of thing. Maybe. Let me know. Am I wrong? All right. All right. I send you love, peace, and lots of fun. I mean, like, bye for now.